Hi, my name's David DeCosson. I used to be the owner of Fidel, one of the owners of Fidel. I was the Dean Fidel. We sold the company in 95, so I've been retired ever since, along with my brother and kids. I'm still making machinery. I have a video showing this little CNC mill with the automatic tool changer on YouTube. Now I'm putting together this a video for this small CNC lathe. It has an eight tool servo turret that is bi-directional and just program an M6T number and pulls up your tool. It has an inch and three eighths diameter through the whole spindle and uh, it's small but it's pretty aggressive little machine. It has a lot of travel in the uh, X direction so you can uh, mount some tools uh, down below the turret if you want, probably room for two more tools. Right now we're machining a part here, and uh, I don't know how well it's going to come through this door, so I'll open the door here so we can get a better look. But, uh, this part is a pull stud for a Cat 40 tool holder. I run a bunch of these once in a while, sell them to some of my friends. Or given to him usually. <laughs> Anyways, she's uh, has a one horsepower uh, vector drive at Centralis and it runs on single phase 120 volts. The unit converts the voltage. Uh, oh, my coolant is not on here. Uh, the uh, inverter or vector drive converts to three phase power, which so the motor on the spindle drive is a three phase one horsepower motor. The maximum spindle op, uh, uh, RPM in this machine is 1500. That's mainly what restricts that is the ratio between the motor and the spindle is almost three to one. So you'll see a tool change here. The tool is locked uh, in place by air pressure. It retains the, uh, pulls the turret back with about you know, 500 pounds. And in a, a crash situation, which is easily done in a lathe, as you may all know, the turret will relax and disengage, and just the tool just swings up out of the way. And releases a lot of the energy, stored energy in the crash. And it recovers. I've never had a problem with it. Uh, we're doing shredding here. I'm restricted at this time to 100 RPM for this course of thread, but software guys are working on it and feel they can get it up to 500 RPM. No problem. So it's a little slow on the threading at this point. This is a 5 8 11 thread. And we're going at 100 RPM. So you can see it has good torque. The turret, each tool has a, a turret, a, a ball, a ball valve to guide the coolant to the tool. So each tool has its own tool nozzle. And it stays with the current tool. below is all the electronics. There's a cable down there. And for lifting and moving, there's forklift holes here. Place, put a forklift. Or it's on wheels, so you can roll it around. And since it's 110 volts, you can plug it into any outlet in the wall. It's totally enclosed enclosure. has a cool pump built in side there. And I use a touch screen for interfacing to the control and the computer. Works very nice. And there's a feature, there's a thing called click and type I use that you can click on and up comes a keyboard if you want to enter data. Or you can plug a keyboard into the unit. Just 
touch it here and it goes away. That's the uh, control. It's like it's a flash cut CNC control. Very nice control. Very user friendly. And it's almost like plug and play. And uh, flash cut supports their software really well. You know, they will write macros for you or if you can't do it. And, uh, they're a very good, good company. They've been around for quite a few years. Runs on a PC. You have a box called the signal generator. And into the signal generator, all your inputs and outputs go. And there's a cable going from the signal generator to the axis amplifiers. So, like I say, it's really is like a plug and play. Now, this uh, tool here goes back. It's the cutoff tool, but it goes back behind and uh, finish, takes out some of that group, that group material behind the, uh, the wall of the pulse Spin an RPM 750. And, uh, goes in there and takes a little pass there behind there. That's where the pulse and pulse stud grab pull the tool in with. Indexes to the tool three, and this will take you spring pass. This will like pass over the threads to deburr it. Then it'll index to tool five, which is the cutoff tool again, and it'll part the tool off. Then the uh, Tool holder just before it comes in. Oops, I gotta close the door getting wet. Just before the uh, part comes off, there's an arm that comes in and grabs the part. And you'll see that arm pretty soon come in there. Yes, here it comes right now. <laughs> A little humor there. So it parts it off. And the arm grabs it. And we have a pulse stud for a Cat 40 tool. That's about it. Full CNC lathe. Made by David DeCosson. You can reach me at ddecosson at aol.com for any interest or any questions. Thank you. Bye now.